Now we're gonna take these little suckers off and clean up these plum trees. We're going to put this tubing on them to stake, help stake them to these poles. They need a little cleaning up and uh, see if we can't get these looking like something. Usually you trim these up in the winter, so we're about on time with them, but you have a, if during the winter and you think that you may be, uh, you don't know if it's dead or not, the easiest way to do it is just scratch the bark and if it's green like that, it's, it's, it's alive, it's healthy. So that's pretty much all you gotta do on that. Yeah, this would be a good one. See, it's still got the, see we put cardboard in between there and this twine, it's just baling twine and it's old. The cardboard, we just put it in there so it wouldn't get into the bark of the tree, see there? Piece of cardboard was there and when I tied those up when they were first planted, we pulled them up against these posts. And of course the cardboard's deteriorated. And this twine was just a temporary deal until we come out, kind of came out with what we wanted to use. So we're gonna use this clear tubing that we've got here and uh, to pull them up taunt to these trees. I don't want them real tight. And this plastic tubing won't rub into the tree actually, if we can stand the shininess of it. Uh-oh, there we go. Anchor it down, and we get quite a bit of wind up here. Uh, so we'll take this and snake it through here to the trunk so we're not damaging any limbs. And the plums on these things were really good this spring, or this summer actually. I ate several of them. Yeah, see there how that goes? It go like that. Keep that nice and snug. See that way it doesn't cut into the bark of the tree. See there how nice that flat that is? And that way when that tree's growing, it won't grow into the tree itself. There. So that's kind of what we do there. Oh man, that don't look too bad. And how many of these trees do you have? Oh, let's see. 13 in each block, except for the smaller blocks, there's eight. So quite a few, quite a few.